Monica, I want you to have the first taste. Really? <laughs> it's turkey day and Rachel made dessert. Whilst Ross and Joey rushed her to finish, she made dessert. But what is up with Rachel's dessert? It has beef. So Rachel messed up and made a savory dessert. Will her friends gobble down the savory dessert? The way this video works is simple. First, we'll watch part of the clip with subtitles, then we'll break down the key vocabulary and expressions. Finally, you'll re-watch the video, but this time without subtitles. By the end of this video, you should understand most of this scene. Beef in a dessert thing? No, 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 there is no way. I know, and only one layer of jam? What is up with that? <laughs> oh my God. The pages are stuck together. Chandler. <laughs> oh my God, she, she made half an English trifle and half a shepherd's pie. <laughs> Man, now she's gonna start all over. We're never gonna get to introduce the hot girls to the new world. <laughs> No, no, we will. We'll, we just won't tell her she messed up. Just let her serve the beef custard thing? <laughs> beef in a dessert thing? No, 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 there is no... Beef in a dessert? That dessert means a sweet course at the end of a meal, like a cake, a pie, or ice cream. For example, I can't wait to eat dessert after dinner. Careful not to confuse dessert with desert, which is a type of dry landscape. For example, the Sahara is a large desert. Beef in a dessert? <laughs> no, 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 there is no way. I know, and only one way. No, 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 there is no way. There is no way expresses disbelief or impossibility. For example, you could say, there is no way I can arrive on time. No, 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 there is no way. I know, and only one layer of jam? <laughs> what is up with that? I know, and only one layer of jam? Layer is a level of something that is stacked on top of each other. For example, in a sandwich, you might have a layer of ham, a layer of cheese, and a layer of lettuce. Or in another context, there are three layers of paint on this wall. I know, and only one layer of jam? <laughs> what is up with that? <laughs> oh my God. What is up with that? What is up with is a colloquial phrase that means what is going on with or what is the matter or the problem with. For example, what is up with the weather today means what is going on with the weather today. Or, what is up with your sister today means what's the matter, what's the problem with your sister today. What is up with that? <laughs> oh my God. The pages are stuck together. Chandler. <laughs> oh my God, she, she... The pages are stuck together. Chandler. Stuck means attached or unable to move. In the context of the line, stuck together means the pages are attached to each other and cannot be separated easily. It's worth noting that stuck can also mean being unable to escape from a particular situation or place. For example, I'm stuck in traffic means I can't move because of the traffic. Another example, my keys are stuck in the car. I can't get my keys because they are inside the locked car. The pages are stuck together. Chandler. <laughs> oh my God, she, she made half an English trifle and half a... Sh oh my God, she, she made half an English trifle and English trifle is a type of dessert from England. It's a dessert that has layers of custard, fruit, cake, fruit juice, or jelly, and whipped cream. For example, you could say, I made an English trifle for dessert. Oh my God, she, she made half an English trifle and half a shepherd's pie. <laughs> Man, now she's gonna- Half a shepherd's pie. 
shepherd's pie is another traditional British dish. It's a type of pie made from meat, usually lamb, that's why it's called shepherd's pie, with a layer of mashed potato on top. For example, you could say, I'm making shepherd's pie for dinner tonight. Half a shepherd's pie. <laughs> Man, now she's gonna start all over. We're never gonna get to introduce the Man, now she's gonna start all over. All over means from the beginning or again. In the context of the sentence, she's gonna start all over means she's going to start from the beginning again. Take a look at this other example. After the cake fell on the floor, I had to start all over. So this means that after the cake fell, I had to start making it again from the beginning. Man, now she's gonna start all over. We're never gonna get to introduce the hot girls to the new world. <laughs> No, no, we will. We'll, we'll We're just... never gonna get to introduce the hot girls to the new world. Get to means have the opportunity to do something. For example, I get to go to the concert tonight means I have the opportunity to go to the concert tonight. Another example could be, do you get to travel for your job? Which means, do you have the opportunity to travel for your job? We're never gonna get to introduce the hot girls to the new world. <laughs> no, no, we will. We'll, we just won't tell her she messed up. Just let her serve the beef custard. No, no, we will. We'll, we just won't tell her she messed up. Messed up is the past form of mess up, which means to make a mistake or do something wrong. For example, you could say, I really messed up at work today, which means I made a big mistake at work. Or he messed up the recipe, which means he made a mistake while cooking the recipe. No, no, we will. We'll, we just won't tell her she messed up. Just let her serve the beef custard thing? <laughs> yeah, it'll be like a funny Just thing. let her serve the beef custard thing. Serve means to present or provide food or drinks. In a restaurant context, a server or waiter is the person who serves the food to the customers. For example, can you serve the salad first means can you present or provide the salad first. Just let her serve the beef custard thing? <laughs> yeah, it'll be like a funny Thanksgiving story. <laughs> Vomiting stories aren't funny. Yeah, it'll be like a funny Thanksgiving story. Be like is a casual way to say be similar to or be the same as. So use it to compare or describe things. For example, this cake is like heaven means this cake is so good. It's similar to what I imagine heaven would be like. Another example could be getting to travel for work will be like a dream. Yeah, it'll be like a funny Thanksgiving story. <laughs> Vomiting stories are funny, I guess. <laughs> Rachel, there you are. Vomiting stories are funny. I mean, I mean is a phrase often used to clarify or emphasize something that was previously mentioned. For example, I love this restaurant. I mean, the food is just amazing. Here, I mean is used to emphasize how much you love the restaurant because of the food. Or if I say, I'm really tired, I mean, I could sleep right now. I mean is used to clarify just how tired the speaker is. Vomiting stories are funny, I guess. <laughs> Rachel, there you are. Come on, let's serve that dessert already. Joey, you're gonna have to stop. Rachel, there you are. Come on, let's serve that dessert already. Already is used to express that something has happened sooner than expected. In the scene, let's serve that dessert already, already gives a sense of urgency or impatience to something that hasn't happened yet. Another example could be, let's go to the cinema already. Rachel, there you are. Come on, let's serve that dessert already. Joey, you're gonna have to stop rushing me. You know what? You don't get any dessert. Joey, you're gonna have to stop rushing me. Rushing me comes from the verb to rush, meaning to hurry or to pressure someone to do something. For example, we need to rush her to the hospital. Joey, you're gonna have to stop rushing me. You know what? You don't get any dessert. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I would never do that to you. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's... No, I'm just kidding. I would never do that to you. Kidden is a slang for joking or teasing. Here, it's in the shortened form, the full form being kidding. For example, you might say, I'm just kidding. I didn't really eat your last cookie. 
No, I'm just kidding. I would never do that to you. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's trifle time. So, now, Rach, this is a traditional English trifle, isn't it? It sure is. Wow. So, then did this you... This is a traditional English trifle, isn't it? It sure is. Isn't it is a question tag used to confirm or check information that we think is true. Here's another example. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? If you want to know more about question tags, make sure to watch our fun story dialogue video. You'll be mastering question tags by the end. This is a traditional English trifle, isn't it? It sure is. Wow. So then did you make it with beef or eggplant? Beef. I can't have any. You know, I don't eat beef. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Monica, I want you to have the first taste. Really? All right, Monica, I want you to have the first taste. Taste is a sample of a small amount of something, usually food or drink. Here's an example. This cake is delicious. You should have a taste. You can also use taste as a verb, meaning to try or sample something, and you can use it to describe what you're eating. For example, this coffee tastes like chocolate. All right, Monica, I want you to have the first taste. Really? <laughs> well? Really? Really is a word used to express surprise or disbelief. For example, if someone tells you something surprising, you might respond with, really? You're kidding. Or if you don't believe something someone says, you might say, really? That doesn't sound right. Really? <laughs> well? Mm. Well? Well typically is the adverb for good. Well can also be used to ask someone for a response or to indicate that you were waiting for someone to do something. For example, if someone is taking a long time to tell a story, you might say, well, to ask them to continue. Another example could be if you're waiting for someone to open the door for you, you might say, well, to indicate that you're waiting for them to do it. Watching TV shows in English is one of the best ways to grasp the language as natives do and you can now do that with any Netflix show that has subtitles. Thanks to Fluent U's Netflix extension. Make sure to sign up so you can get access. Well? Mm. <laughs> it's good. It's so good that I feel really selfish about being the only one who's eating it. Selfish means caring only for oneself and not considering other people. For example, she only thinks about herself. She's really selfish. The opposite would be selfless. So someone who always thinks about other people before themselves. It's so good that I feel really selfish about being the only one who's eating it. I think we should have everyone taste how good it is. <laughs> Especially Ross. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is so good that I'm gonna go enjoy it on the balcony. <laughs> so that I can enjoy the view. Yeah, this is so good that I'm gonna go enjoy it on the balcony. Typically, so expresses a result or a consequence. For example, I was tired, so I didn't go out. But in this scene, so actually means very or extremely. For example, your house is so beautiful. Now, if you were watching this clip on Fluent U, you could instantly see what so is just by hovering over the word in the subtitles. Fluent U shows you not only the definition, but also a helpful sentence and other video examples making learning English practical and handy. Yeah, this is so good that I'm gonna go enjoy it on the balcony. <laughs> so that I can enjoy the view whilst I enjoy my dessert. <laughs> So that I can enjoy the view whilst I enjoy my dessert. Whilst means while or at the same time as. It's a more formal or old-fashioned word and it's used more commonly in British English than in American English. For example, you could say, 
I listened to music whilst I was working. This means I listened to music at the same time as I was working. So that I can enjoy the view whilst I enjoy my dessert. <laughs> I'm gonna call my friend Mary and tell her how good this is for Monica's room. I'll help you dial. I've gotta call my friend Mary and tell her how good this is from Monica's room. Gotta is a colloquial contraction of got to. Use it to express obligation or necessity. For example, I gotta go now means I have to go now. Another example could be, you gotta try this pizza, it's amazing, which means you have to try this pizza, it's amazing. I gotta call my friend Mary and tell her how good this is for Monica's room. I'll help you dial. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the bathroom. So I'll I help you dial. Dial means to enter a series of numbers on a phone or a device. For example, you might say, I dialed the wrong number if you called someone by mistake. I'll help you dial. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the bathroom so I can look at it in the mirror as I eat it. <laughs> okay, now what was that all about? I'm gonna go into the bathroom so I can look at it in the mirror as I eat it. As can mean while or during the same time. For example, she was singing as she was cooking. This means she was singing at the same time as she was cooking. So Monica is eating the trifle and at the same time she is looking at herself in the mirror. I'm gonna go into the bathroom so I can look at it in the mirror as I eat it. <laughs> Okay, now what was that all about? Is it, does it not taste good? Let me try it. No, no, no! Okay, now what was that all about? Is it, does it not taste good? Let me try it. Try means to taste or sample something. For example, I would love to try a traditional British breakfast. But try can also mean to make an attempt or effort. For example, I'm going to try to do a backflip. Okay, now what was that all about? Is it, does it not taste good? Let me try it. No, no, no! no. <laughs> all gone. <laughs> so good. All gone. Gone generally means that something or someone has left or disappeared. But in the phrase all gone, it's used to mean that everything has been used up or finished. For example, if you were eating cookies and you ate them all, you could say, the cookies are all gone. Another example could be, my money is all gone, meaning you've spent all your money. Now make sure to download the free PDF review guide of this video so that you can review all of this vocab and tricky verbs like rush later. All gone. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Maybe Chandler has some left. <laughs> it tastes like feet. Maybe Chandler has some left. Left means remaining or not used up. So Chandler might still have some of Rachel's dessert. For example, you could say, I have some cookies left, which means I still have some cookies. It tastes like feet. <laughs> I like it. Are you kidding? What's not to like? Custard? Good. Jam? Good. Meat? Good. Beef in a dessert? There... No, no, no. There is no way. I know. And only one layer of jam? <laughs> what is up with that? <laughs> oh, my God. The pages are stuck together. Chandler! <laughs> Oh my God, she, she made half an English trifle and half a shepherd's pie. Man, now she's gonna start all over. We're never gonna get to introduce the hot girls to the new world. No, no, we will. We'll, we just won't tell her she messed up. Just let her serve the beef custard thing? Yeah, it'll be like a funny Thanksgiving story. <laughs> Vomiting stories are funny, I guess. Rachel, there you are. Come on, let's serve that dessert already. Joey, you're gonna have to stop rushing me. You know what? You don't get any dessert. Really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I would never do that to you. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's trifle 
time. So, now, Rach, this is a traditional English trifle, isn't it? It sure is. Wow. So then did you make it with beef or eggplant? Beef. I can't have any. You know, I don't eat beef. Oh. <laughs> All right, Monica, I want you to have the first taste. Really? <laughs> Well? Mm. <laughs> it's good. Really? It's all good. It's so good that I feel really selfish about being the only one who's eating it. I think we should have everyone taste how good it is. <sighs> Especially Ross. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, this is so good that I'm gonna go enjoy it on the balcony. <laughs> so that I can enjoy the view whilst I enjoy my dessert. I gotta call my friend Mary and tell her how good this is for Monica's room. I'll help you dial. I'm gonna go into the bathroom so I can look at it in the mirror as I eat it. <laughs> Okay, now what was that all about? Is it, does it not taste good? Let me try it. No, no, no! All gone. So good. Maybe Chandler has some left. It tastes like feet. I like it. Are you kidding? What's not to like? Custard, good. Jam, good. Meat, good. Now, you know what else is good? Ross's new apartment. But while he's there, Rachel and Phoebe have to hide a huge secret. Check out this next video to find out what happens and to continue learning more English. I'll see you there.